All right, so you just bought your brand new monitor that has HDMI 2.1. You got your system, you got a video card that has DisplayPort and HDMI 2.1. So you can get 12-bit out of the HDMI 2.1, but only 10-bit out of the DisplayPort. Which one do you use? Which one's right? That's what we're going to do in this video. Let's go. For years, DisplayPort has been the preferred high-end data and audio connection for gamers and workers running monitors at resolutions, and high refresh rates like 4K at 144Hz. With a higher data rate than HDMI 2.0, it's been far better at handling more complicated data streams, and that remains the case in 2024. HDMI 2.1 might be able to compete, but supporting devices are still hard to come by since they are limited to high-end GPUs and displays key features of DisplayPort, higher resolutions, and refresh rates. Supports up to 8K resolution at 60Hz with 10-bit color and HDR. Supports 4K resolution at 120Hz with 10-bit color and HDR. Supports up to 5K resolution at 120Hz. Without the need for chroma subsampling and display stream compression, DSC. DSC is a visually lossless compression algorithm that allows for higher resolution and refresh rates without significantly increasing bandwidth requirements. This enables transmission of 8K at 60 Hz or 4K at 120 Hz over a single cable. Plus, HDR, high dynamic range, supports HDR10 and other HDR formats, which improves the contrast and color depth of images enables a richer and more vibrant color palette with a wider color gamut and increased brightness levels, and offers enhanced audio return channel eARC, which allows for the transmission of high-quality lossless audio formats like DTS HD, Dolby True HD, and object-based audio formats like Dolby Atmos and DTS, which improves audio connectivity and simplifies the setup of audio equipment. Forward error. Correction FEC. DisplayPort also improves error correction to reduce the chance of visual artifacts and maintain signal integrity, especially at high resolutions and refresh rates like 4K144 FPS. So, what about HDMI 2.1? HDMI 2.1 is the latest major update to the HDMI standard introduced in November 2017. It brings several significant improvements over previous versions, enabling support for higher resolutions, faster refresh rates, and a host of new features that cater to both advanced home entertainment setups and gaming needs. It supports up to 10K resolution at 120Hz, though this is more theoretical as very few devices can utilize this. 8K resolution at 60Hz, 4K resolution at 120Hz, and 4K at 60Hz with 12-bit color depth. It also supports dynamic refresh rates for smoother motion and reduced latency, which is beneficial for gaming and interactive displays. GMI 2.1 has a maximum bandwidth of up to 48 gigabytes, significantly higher than HDMI 2.0's 18 gigabytes. Requires the use of new ultra-high-speed HDMI cables to achieve the maximum bandwidth and benefits, just like DisplayPort 1.4. HDMI 2.1 has HDR and Dynamic HDR, which supports dynamic HDR formats like HDR10+, Dolby Vision, and others. Dynamic HDR allows the HDR metadata to be adjusted scene by scene, or even frame by frame, providing more precise contrast and color adjustments. And HDMI 2.1 has Enhanced Audio Return Channel, eARC. Jammy 2.1 also has support for variable refresh rate, auto low latency mode, display stream compression, and more. HDMI 2.1 is backwards compatible with earlier versions like HDMI 2.0 and 1.4. HDMI 2.1 is a perfect choice for gaming consoles like the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, as well as for high-end gaming PCs. So what is the difference for a PC gamer, and which one should you use? DisplayPort 1.4 and HDMI 2.1 are both advanced digital interface standards used for connecting video and audio devices, but they have different specifications, capabilities, and use cases. Here are the key differences between the two. Bandwidth and data rate. DisplayPort 1.4 has a bandwidth of 32 gigabytes with only 10-bit color, 
while HDMI 2.1 has a bandwidth of 48 gigabytes with a 12-bit color. They both support high refresh rate gaming and high resolution. DisplayPort only goes as high as 8K at 60 frames per second, but HDMI supports 10K at 120 frames per second. DisplayPort also supports AMD's FreeSync and NVIDIA's G-Sync, which is essential for gaming to reduce screen tearing and stutter. Now, HDMI 2.1 supports variable refresh rate VRR, which is similar to Adaptive Sync to reduce lag, stutter, and frame tearing for smoother gameplay. DisplayPort 1.4 excels in PC environments, multi-monitor setups, and professional graphics, with good support for Adaptive Sync technologies. HDMI 2.1 is better suited for home entertainment, gaming consoles, and consumer electronics. Offering superior bandwidth, audio capabilities, and ease of use, choosing between the two depends on the specific use case, device compatibility, and the required performance characteristics. While HDMI 2.1 has its benefits, the new DisplayPort 2.0 specification allows for resolutions up to an amazing 16K, along with higher refresh rates, all thanks to a near tripled bandwidth over DisplayPort 1.4. DisplayPort 2.0 handles a hefty 16K with HDR at 60 Hz and up to 30 bits. Now, as of today in 2024, we have no monitors that support this yet, and only a couple of AMD cards and leaks show that the new 5000 series from NVIDIA should have DisplayPort 2.0. This is what we should expect in the near future. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe to get honest reviews and tech talk.